everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Mattressology, we're gonna talk about the five different types of mattress shoppers. So let's go. What we see a lot that come into our store is there are five different types of mattress shoppers. And everybody's different. Everybody operates a little bit differently. You know, I see myself, I fall into one of these categories when I'm like shopping for other things. And we put this video to help you if you fall into one of these different types of categories of a shopper to help you at least take advantage of it, you know, to get the most out of it and to make your mattress shopping a little bit easier because we all operate a little bit differently, yeah. you know? And we don't have to operate in certain ways, but just we have different tendencies. The first type of mattress shop is that bargain shopper. We've all seen the bargain shopper. Doesn't matter if it's in mattresses, doesn't matter if it's in groceries, but there is that bargain shopper. Gabe, what's an example of the bargain yeah, shopper? Yeah, an example is gonna be those that just walk in and all they're focused on is price, price, like looking at the price tags, you know, and not really knowing why they're there in the first place. Yeah. You know, it's like, they need a mattress, but okay, what are you trying to solve in that, mat? you know, for, with the new mattress? Yeah, I mean, they're looking for the cheapest thing, yeah. you know, and I, it's, it's so funny that they come in, they're just looking at price tags, mm -hmm. you know, or they see something and they, can you give me this price? You know, I saw it here, I want this price. And right. it's just, they're solely based on price. Yes. So again, not that this is a bad thing, but if it's solely based on price, it can be, you know, as an, one of the problems or landmines I would say if you operate like that is if you buy a mattress solely on price, you run the risk of just getting the wrong mattress. You know, you see this $800 mattress that's a little bit firmer than you like, that's not as comfortable, but it's a good deal, you know, and it's on sale, it's the last one, it's on clearance, versus the one that actually fit in you properly. Even though the other one might be a little bit more expensive, you run the risk of just getting the wrong bed, yeah. you know? Oh, for sure. Yeah, and that, in the long run, a year or so from now, you're not gonna really worry, you know, remember that money that you saved, but you can remember that uncomfortable night's sleep that you had. You're gonna be like, that was the worst bed, probably not gonna buy from that store again. Man, I mean, you go all that way and it's like, well, you, you bought a $500 mattress, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. It's gonna last you 20 years. Yep, so Gabe, what, what kind of tip that you can give for the bargain hunter? Yeah, I mean, one thing, if, you, if you're that bargain shopper is um, make sure you're comparing apples to apples, you know, like not just on the, like, the product specs, but also on like the service too that you're gonna be taking care of as a customer. Yep. But, you know, if you might be at, hey, this store is, you know, selling this soft mattress for 500 bucks and your guys' is 1200 bucks. Like, can you guys match that price? And we're like, well, let's compare apples to apples, you know? There's gonna be a different reason why that's 500 bucks. The quality of materials that we always talk about, right? Yeah. So comparing apples to apples and then also, man, what if you don't like it? How are you gonna be taken care of too? Yeah, right? yeah, you gotta remember that you're, you wanna compare, like he was saying, apples to apples. Mm -hmm. You know, so by the materials that are in the mattress, by the services that are being offered, those are the two things that you gotta think about if you're just a bargain hunter. You know, what are the most important things that you're looking for in a mattress? You know, obviously comfort's number one, but also is motion separation, is temperature regulation, is the edge support, you know, are the materials, like, know why, you know? Like, these are the things that are most important to me. However, I'm gonna buy this cheaper mattress, you know? So know what you're looking for in a mattress. Yeah. That's a big tip when you're going, and that's for anybody going for mattress shopping. So that's the bargain shop. So now the second type of shopper that we see yeah. that comes in our store quite a bit. Now these guys are the researcher, like yeah. the well-informed shopper. These guys have done their homework. Gabe, give me an example of that research. Yeah, I mean, it's the ones that have spent hours on YouTube, you know, on Reddit, through these threads. Yeah. Yep. Another site, Mattress Underground, right? Yep. Like just going all through this research, knowing materials, all that stuff, coil gauge, coil count, ILD foams, like yep. everything. Right? They know it. They know their yeah. stuff. They know probably more than yeah. a typical mattress salesperson at, I'm not going to say in any stores, right. but your typical yeah. mattress salesperson. Yeah. You know, so they come in informed. They come informed, yeah. but, and it's good because they have good questions too. They're actually, I would probably say, they're probably my favorite one. I would say if I had a favorite type of shop, I love these guys because they appreciate what we're, what mm -hmm. we're doing. Yeah. You know, I really like these type of shoppers, you know, and like we're in one of our stores, we're in the Mir in a Miramar, where we have a lot of like Qualcomm, a lot of engineers, a lot of biotech. So these guys are engineers. They do their homework. Mm -hmm. That's a very common shopper we get here. I love talking to that, the researcher and the well-informed shopper. So, but there is, a landmine yeah. there is you know just you got to be careful that i see mistakes that that the researcher makes mm -hmm. so um one of the big problems that the researcher get is they just get caught up in the specs for sure you know yeah. they're like they give me this you know if it's not this coil count this one has 20 more coils you know and even though this one felt better they get caught up into the minutia yeah. 
and they say, am I sleeping on the specs or am I sleep getting the comfort, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah. you're not, don't get too caught up in that, you know? And then which can end up in process of analysis and then you don't make a decision because you get caught up in that minutia or you just get the wrong bed, oh, you know? Because sure. yeah. you're saying, okay, well, this one technically has a firmer coil or firmer ILD, mm -hmm. but I like this one better. Even though quality-wise, they're very close in quality, then they end up just going by the specs, mm -hmm. not in what their body's telling them. So that's a mistake that the researcher I see can make, you know? Our job is to make it easier for Oh, for them. sure. Yeah. I mean, what we gotta do is we gotta make sure that, you know, when they're in here, like, okay, let's focus again. How does it, how does it feel? Yes. Right, because it could be all, you know, like you said, paralysis by analysis, you you know, just, but if it's not feeling good, you know, then, okay, let's eliminate that one. Yep. I have a little bit better specs, what you think, but it's, uh, let's eliminate the ones that aren't feeling good. Yes, right? yeah, remember, comfort's king. And there's a balance, you know? Mm -hmm. You don't want to get, if the $400, $500, $600, you know, queen or king size mattress, know the, the material, so right. there is a balance in there. You know, you just don't want to be all the way on the other end of the spectrum and just go by specs. Okay. You want to go specs, but also measure it out with, the comfort and how you know how long it's gonna feel. Yeah. So yeah. So you want that. that, that that's a tip for you. So that is the researcher or that well-informed shopper. All right. So the third type of shopper that we see quite a bit is it's that name brand status symbol shopper. You know they're just yeah. stuck on the name brand. You know, yeah. give, give me an example of yeah. that name brand shopper that we see quite a bit. I mean, it's the one that you see, they're walking in, they're already wearing a bunch of, like a Nike jumpsuit, <laughs> Nike shoes. Yep. No, I mean, it's the ones that are just stuck on brand, right? Yes, Because you yes. gotta have that name. I mean, I remember a customer that uh, came in and he was asking for a specific brand and I'm like, look, we make our mattresses. We've been making them since the 60s. Yep. We're a family owned. We focus on quality materials, but you guys don't sell this brand. And I was like, no, no, but if you want to test out, let me show you how I, you know, let me just get you in a, the fitted right for the mattress. And oh, no, no, I'm just looking for this type of mattress. And then that was it, you know? Yeah. Um, she didn't have that mattress before, you know, it's just that she was looking for a specific type of brand. So, yes, yeah. yeah. And, you know, it is a little frustrating, but hey, if, you, if you're stuck on the brand, I get it. There's a level of trust that you've had with it. So, I mean, if you're that type, don't be that type. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, but if you're that type, but you know, there is some mistakes that you gotta you gotta look out for. A little some landmines because what I see happen quite a bit with that name brand shopper is again they might be have and it goes back to a lot of the other ones is the base is solely on the brand even though this one feels better for them you know mm -hmm. or was the right one for them yeah. you know the, the the brand X so don't go with just the name brand just be careful of that you know and also you can just overpay mm -hmm. you know oh, for sure. Yeah. I see people, they just go on that name brand and they just, they're paying more than they should because it's that name brand. Especially a lot of these online companies. They, you know, they've seen the ad on Instagram. They've, the marketing, a lot of these online brands are so great, so clever that, man, I'm looking at the ads and I'm like, man, I want to get this one yeah. because the, the marketing is so great, you know? But again, it's, you got to make sure it's the right one for you. You got to, you know, you got to compare like, Learn a little bit from that researcher because this brand, what's inside this mattress? So it, it would suit you well if you get a little bit, learn a little bit from that researcher, you know, by knowing some what's in them, what kind of components, what kind of materials that are in this mattress. So that's our tip for that status symbol name brand shopper. Yeah, if, if you don't know the brand, I mean, if, if like you're going into the store thinking, okay, I want to try out this silly, sort of whatever, right? Yeah. You know, give that other mattress a shot because, you know, as long as you know the components, if you've done, you know, watch some of our other videos on explaining the quality of components and the one that doesn't have that brand recognition, you know, might be a better bet. Yeah, yeah, not because you heard it on a podcast ad mm -hmm. or you've seen somebody falling it with eggs underneath it, you need that bet. That doesn't mean it's the right one for you, Right. you know? So again, just, you know, go try it. Give the other ones a shot. Give another brand a shot. Don't be so stuck because you're just, putting yourself in a box and you run the risk of getting the wrong mattress. So that is the status brand shopper. Okay, so the fourth type of shopper that we see quite a bit is, this is the value driven shopper, the, the feel good shopper. They, yeah, like, they like to right. feel good about their purchase, you know? Yeah. Gabe, give me the example of that value driven yeah. feel good shopper. Yeah, so ones that, you know, of uh, when they're going out mattress shopping, they want to say, okay, what cause like is, is, are they behind? You know, whether it be like the environment that they support or is it a local small business and want yes. to support their local community? You know, that's typically that feel good. Like, hey, it makes them feel good making the purchase with them because you know 
got, like, they're voting with their wallet, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. yeah. And this is a good shopper. Yeah, you know, because oh, no, I love these shoppers. They're typically not, uh, you know, they don't mind spending a little bit more for a quality product, but there are some things to be careful with. Yeah, right? yeah. And I would probably say, I'm probably more on this type of shopper, mm -hmm. you know, than anything. Because I do, I like, man, I'm gonna support that guy. I like what they're, what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm probably more like this yeah. type of shopper, you know? But there are landmines that you just gotta look out for if you fall into this type of shopper. So very similar to that status shopper is if you buy it just because of the cause, and this is, you, we see a common theme, you run the risk of buying something that's not yeah. the right mattress for you just because they give 1% back to the planet or whatever, you know, whatever cause that you believe in. Mm -hmm. You gotta be careful that don't end up on the wrong mattress, right. you know? Because again, that, that's what we we're trying to solve. That's the problem mm -hmm. we're trying to solve is you wanna sleep good, you wanna get good support on something that's very comfortable. So don't just buy solely on cause though. So make sure it lines up, you know? I mean, what kind of tips too yeah. would you recommend for yeah, I mean, it goes back to the researcher play. It does help in this role as far as the uh, kind of, okay, let's look at the quality materials yep. one. You know, okay, they've got good quality materials. All right, let's go try out that mattress. Well, you know, it's not feeling that good. Yeah. You know, it, it all kind of goes back to quality materials and then comfort. Yeah. Right? Yep. So just because it's a great cause, you got to make sure that, man, can you sleep good? Yeah. If you can't sleep good, man, that you're, you're going to be... And they're gonna be pretty frustrated. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't do anybody good. Yeah. So line it up, you know, if you see something that you like the cause, but you don't like the mattress, find something that you like about yeah. another company that gets the right mattress right, you know? Maybe there is a mattress that lines up with the cause, because I understand that I do fall into this thing, but this type of shopper. Mm -hmm. But remember, again, like I say, comfort is king. You wanna get the right one. You wanna make sure it's gonna be made with good materials. You wanna make sure it's gonna last a long time. Mm -hmm. So line line it up. There, I'm, there, there's so many different options out there. So that is the feel good, value driven shopper. Our last type of shopper that we see quite a bit. Now this is, it's the impulsive, I'm sick of my mattress shopper. So yeah. Gabe, what do you see on Give me an example. Yeah, these are the people that just, man, they had their last horrible night's sleep and they said, I'm tired of it. I'm gonna go get a mattress right now. Yep. Or they came back from vacation and they're like, man, that I came back and slept my mattress last night sucked. Yep. You know, I gotta go get a mattress. And even sometimes those they're just strolling by and just like, oh, a mattress store, let me see what they got. Oh, this one feels good, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, yeah. Right, I mean, yeah, yeah those that are just quick to buy. Yeah. Right? I like these shoppers because yeah, yeah, it's sure. like them. They, they, they lay on one bed. Yeah. I want it. You know, makes our job a little bit easier. Uh, however, these ones too scare me too. It's like, man, did we do everything we can to make right. sure? Because that goes against our style. I like to it's more consult consultate consulting. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. and it takes a little bit more time to find the right one. But it is a little bit easier too. But I'm just worried that it's not going to be the right one in the long term for yeah. this shopper. So there is some landmines that you got to be careful if you're the, if. You come to this point and you're this type of shopper and just making an impulsive decision, a rash decision, mm -hmm. you know, it's always, there's always risk of that. There's sure. always yeah. a problem. It's just ending up on the right bed without trying doing the due diligence, you know? And we just, again, we don't want to go too extreme like that overbearing researcher, you know, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you know, we want to land, we want to do some due diligence, yeah. you know, sure. and taking your time. So that's a big landmine that just ending up on the wrong one again. So. What's a good tip for like, if you're good, if you see that one, if you're, if that person is very impulsive, a quick decision, they don't like mattress shopping, mm -hmm. but they, they also appreciate value. Just a quick tip, because again, you yeah. know, I know several people who operate like this and they're very successful and that's just the way they operate. Yeah. So what would you say? Yeah, a good tip would be if you're that impulsive person, just make sure that the company you're buying from has that good guarantee. That that's they're going to yep. take care of you. You know what? This wasn't as comfortable as I thought it would have been. Let me see if, they, if they're if they going to work with me and get a more comfortable mattress. That's a good point. That's the, that's like the biggest tip I could say for that type of shopper. Yes. Yep. The, the guarantee that you're not stuck with it. A lot of companies are doing it now. You know, a lot of companies do that 100 day trial period. We do a little bit differently. You know, we do a one year 100%, but we have a trial period. But at the same time, we have that 10 year love your mattress guarantee, which that you can make any adjustments on comfort. It goes on top of our warranty. So we have the 25 year warranty, but we have that 10 year love your mattress guarantee to make sure you can be happy for at least 10 years on the comfort of your mattress. So, but make sure that the company that you're going with, if you're that type, has that good guarantee. Yeah. That's probably one of my biggest recommendations if you come to that point, you know? So that is that impulsive, I'm sick of my mattress shopper. All right guys, so thank you for watching this video. Hope this was helpful. 
we just wrapped up the whole five mattress shoppers. Yes. And um, if this was helpful, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share this with someone. Yeah, right? yeah. And yeah, and if you guys are in your mattress shopping journey, there's a couple videos I would recommend is the mattress mistakes not to make when mattress shopping, and also the things to consider when mattress shopping. Those are the two videos that will be very helpful that kind of go with what we're talking about today mm -hmm. on your mattress shopping journey. So again, thank you guys for watching. Hope this helps. Sleep well.